this is relating to division now in division there are certain very important things which form the basis of the entire mathematics so what are these things you know what happens is that many a times while you are preparing for your examinations competitive examination or whatever division assumes significant importance i mean knowing at the back of your mind as to what number is divisible by what can significantly help you in whatever you do in your life in day to day life you know estimations in addition to your classroom so there are certain rules which one needs to know and the first one is there are certain rules in terms of what is divisible by what so let us say if i were to take the first one it is division by 10 now the question which comes up is that you know if i were to take multiples of 10 10 1 is 10 10 2 is 20 10 3 is 30 4 times 10 is 40 5 times 10 is 50 6 times 10 is 60 and so on. now if you were to have a look at these numbers is there something which you can see in common have a closer look yes there is something in common what is common is that at the ones place in all these multiples of 10 what i see is that there is a zero and then what is the conclusion or what is the rule relating to division by 10 the rule is that if a number has zero at its ones place it is divisible by 10 so the number can be as low as 10 it could be 9000 it could be 88000 whatever you take 760 as long as the units place has a zero or rather the ones place has a zero this number will always be divisible by 10 so this was the rule in so far as division by 10 is concerned okay now i will take you to the second part of it and this is the rule relating to division by five again one time five is five two time five is 10 three time five is 15 4 times five is 20 25 30 and so on again do you see any pattern coming in in these numbers have a closer look yes there is a pattern which is emerging here and the pattern is that at the ones place we only have two numbers one is 0 and the other one is 5 So what does the rule comes the rule comes if a number has 0 or 5 at its one place it is divisible by 5 isn't it now if you have any number any number for that matter let us take an example let's say i have a number 195 now i want to divide this by 5 so 5 1 will not go no 19 3 is a 15 i get 4 4 is not divisible 5 so 3 9 times 5 is 45 and the remainder is 0 So 195 is divisible by 5 because at the ones place it has 5. Similarly, you can try this out for as many numbers as you want, 
and the result will always be the same, namely, if a number has 0 or 5 at its 1's place, it is divisible by 5. Okay, let's take another one. And this time, what do we take? We take division by 2. So we take the multiples of 2. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, and so on. Again, can you see some pattern? Can you see some pattern? Mostly the patterns which you see are at the units place or ones place. So if I see it here, what I notice it is 24680. Again, 24680. So what does the rule comes out? The rule that comes out is that if you have 0, 2, 4, 6 or 8 at the unit's place, the number is divisible by 2. Are you clear? Let's say I have any number 4, 6, 8, 7. Now is this divisible by 2? Here I have 7 which is not one of these numbers. So therefore our conclusion should be that no, this is not divisible by 2. Let's see. 2 times 2 is 4. Then I get 6. 3 times 2 is 6. 8. 4 times 2 is 8. 7. Now, 7 is not divisible by 3. So really, even if I do it 3, it gives me 6 and the remainder is 1, which is not divisible by 2. Therefore, 4, 6, 8, 7 is not divisible by 2. On the contrary, if this would have been 4, 8, 6, 8, 8, this number would have been 8 and instead of 3, I would have got 4 here. This would have given me 8, which is 0. Hence, if it was 8 or for that matter any of these numbers, this should have been divided, divided by 2. So the rule for 2 is that if a number has either 0, 2, 4, 6 or 8 at its 1's place, then the number is divisible by 2.